So I've been running my HD2 with Android. Uh, the uh, version I've been using, or the ROM I've been using, was the MATC 1.7. I, I tried it before, and it didn't quite work right for me, but I had since formatted my SD card. My, um, in this case, an 8 gigabyte SD card. I formatted it, complete format, not a quick format, um, in Windows with um, an 8K allocation unit size, and it seems the performance of Android actually improved quite a bit. Now, I've been running it for about a week now with just the um, base um, settings that this Matt C ROM came with, except I changed um, the background. Make sure there's no animated anything going on. Now, I even left um, some things auto updating or auto syncing. I also sync with uh, Google for my contacts. I get email through Yahoo and Gmail. My weather syncs, everything uh, works just fine. I pretty much under normal conditions, meaning I don't talk on the phone for hours and hours. Um, and I don't spend the whole day watching YouTube videos, you know, I mean, all that kind of stuff will kill your battery. That's what I have my iPod Touch for. Um, I actually get a full day's worth of battery. So this has been working really well. Now, what's actually, what I actually like about it is that there actually is, let's see, I gotta clean my fingers there. There actually is a very good response time and the screen scrolling is very smooth. And I'm really impressed. This is the best um, Android test I've seen so far. I mean, it's working like or like it came st with a stock Android. Um, there's nothing odd about the phone at all. Um, now, there are some limitations. Uh, the limitations I found are the camera isn't using 5 megapixels. It's using 3 megapixels. And the video um, will not record at 720p. It, it'll just crash. It'll record at WVGA, which is what, 800 by 480 or something like that. But I think most people knew that in most of the Android ROMs that is pretty much the same. It doesn't matter if it's Matt C or somebody else. Although I am going to try other people's ROMs. Um, internet works fine. My Wi-Fi works fine. My GPS has always worked fine. It's very fast. I mean, I really don't have to wait for anything. My location services work fine. Um, let's see. Something else that hasn't been working for me, but I've heard other, other people say it works, is I cannot get my headset to answer phone calls. I don't know why. It might be my headset. I might try buying another Bluetooth headset. But I'm just going to call that one where, um, that it might just be my headset. And I'll just review that again later. Now, um, let's see. The marketplace works fine. Applications work fine. One thing I did do on all the tests is I've turned off the G sensor. Um, I don't really use it. Things that are portrait landscape work fine for me just however they are. YouTube always goes in landscape, my emails are in portrait, I, I don't care. So that's one thing I've done, I've turned off my G sensor. Now, um, things that I think might need some work, you know, I this is perfectly usable just as is. This is Bansy's 1.7. Now what I am going to do is I'm now going to tweak this phone and put my customizations, my home screen, my background, set up the icons the way I want, change a clock or something. Um, and I'm gonna see if anything that I do degrades the performance because this is just incredibly awesome. Matt C did a good job. This, that's not working because my fingers are oily. That's a very smooth transition, not choppy at all. All right, so um, second half of this video is gonna be looking at my customizations.